DD brings the heat. The undeniable best of the West Coast wrestling scene returns with hard hitting action in TBD presents the Battle of Las Vegas. All bets are off as newcomer Psycho Sally continues to wreak havoc for TBD promoter Geneva Rose. Cole Quinn takes on fan favorite El Ordinario in a technical wrestling clinic. And in our main event, will ruthless challenger Odyssey Rift defeat the longest running champion in TBD history, the locker room leader and captain of her domain and in anything goes, sure to be brutal, TBD rules match? Forget what you've seen. Throw the rule book out the window and brace yourself for non-stop, hard-hitting action. This is TBD!
it's all about. They said that we were too loud, too proud. They told us that we couldn't do things on our own terms. And we said we weren't asking for your permission. Sally, you'll give her a bigger head than she already has. So, flaming table again? Time tested, crowd approved. Also an insurance risk, not to mention we've seen it before. But that was one hell of a main event. Way to rally the crowd afterwards, too. Well, I meant what I said. I told you when we founded this place that we could pull it off. Couldn't do any of it without you. Oh, I know. I'm very aware of how much time I spend doing paperwork to keep the lights on around here, so that you can go out there and break stuff. But you break stuff so cool, Gap. I just hope I can put on a match like that someday, and, and have that sort of confidence on the mic. <laughs> a reason why you can't. You may be new around here, Psycho Sal, but you could be the future of TBD someday. <laughs> Heck, she could be the future of WWE tomorrow. Literally. Really, Sally? You're going to the WWE Vegas tryouts? You're not mad, are you? I do feel bad even thinking about leaving after everything you've done for me. After everything you've done for this whole locker room, really. There's a reason why we call you the captain around here. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed by the thought of losing you. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Thanks for sparing us the monologue. Monologue? Let's just say that WWE is not exactly looking for people like me. I have a type. I'm good at doing my own thing. Different strokes, you know? They were literally looking for people exactly like you. Cap turned them down a few years back with some strong four-letter words. I respectfully declined WWE so you and I could start TBD together and work with all talent, including those who don't fit their mold. Look, I have no ill will towards WWE. Going there just wasn't the right move. If that's the case, you'd have no problem coming with me to the tryout. Wait a second. This feels like a trap. Look, Sally needs a ride, and we need new talent for TBD. WWE can't sign everyone from the tryouts, so you go, watch Sally's back, and you lurk. And if you walk away with some new names for us to reach out to, so be it. I could sure use the support. Obviously, I can't go as the boss of a rival promotion, but... A top, technically free agent? Fine, I'll go with you to the WWE tryout. But don't expect me to like it. I wouldn't ask you to. Hooray! I really wasn't expecting to see you here today. What can I say? It was a last minute decision. And Regal and Justine don't seem to mind. Why do you? Are you really going to pretend you don't remember how you refused to book me in TBD? First off, I don't do the booking. My business partner, Geneva Rose, handles all of that as promoter. And secondly, no, I don't remember that at all. TBD was the hottest emerging promotion, and there was never any room on the card for me because someone else was hogging all the attention as champion. Hogging attention as champion? You mean successfully and consistently defending my title? You say tomato, I say you're a selfish, overrated champion who I could have easily beaten if given the opportunity. I'm sure you told Geneva not to schedule the match. I can't speak for Geneva, but I do know that she tried to book talent at my level, which, let's be honest, you are not. We can agree to disagree. What we can't disagree on, however, is that I'm the one in charge today. But since you're so talented, you won't mind the tryout match I just set up for you. What did you do? 
just set up a match against those two other potential recruits. Since you had such an issue with them, felt right for you to take both of them on at the same time. A two-on-one handicap match? Sure, why not? Unless you want me to tell Regal and Justine it's a problem. My only problem is with you. Likewise, I look forward to evaluating your performance. Thanks for the help out there. Tight ropes. It must have sounded like an idiot. <laughs> no problem. And hey, everyone starts somewhere. I didn't know about any of this stuff until I started watching and doing it and, well, learned all about this stuff. Uh, fair point. I just didn't want to pass up a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because I thought I wasn't prepared enough. Especially since the recruiter said they could train me in the basics. You did track in college? All conference. Set my fair share of records, too. Ever been in a fight? Does online count? Probably not when you're in the ring against someone who has. But you'll figure it out. Good luck today. Taking on two other she potential. Don't hold your breath. She can't. Come on now, we don't have all day. Are you sure we need to sign anyone new in WWE? Honestly, I'm the exception to the rule. Generally not into bringing indie talent. Rope break right there. You're in the rope. Was I this pathetic in my WWE tryout? Oh, more so, I should say. What? Ask stupid questions, get stupid answers. Ain't hey, that the truth? Donna and Starla are looking great here. No question who the stars of this match are. I wasn't expecting to see two on one today. Ah, <sighs> the smell of a handicap match in the morning.
Pretend you're at a live show. We're an audience of hundreds. We've got a good crop of women to choose from today, Regal. They're not all so great. I'm beginning to suspect you may have an opinion, Shots. Talent just keeps getting better and better, huh? One. Talked about this. Don't worry, I know my role. For now. CVD, two opponents, and you still wipe the floor with them. You're Psycho Sally, right? I saw your tape online. Don't get the psycho part, but we can work on that. And you're new enough that she probably hasn't ruined you by teaching you bad habits yet. Whatever grudge you have against me, don't take it out on Sally. She deserves this opportunity, not your snark. It's okay, Cap. I, I can take it. Even if I am also totally overwhelmed that one of my favorite WWE superstars knows who I am. So, did I pass your little challenge? Anyone can get lucky in one match. Luck? Cap's always great in the ring. I watched her almost set a woman on fire. Believe me, I miss some of the stuff I used to do in the indies more than anyone. But in WWE, we don't set people on fire on a whim. <laughs> on a whim? You should have seen the whole story, though. It was an epic culmination, a confrontation for the ages. Let's go, Sally. We're wasting our time talking to her. But, but I'm proud of what we do in TBD. Right, right. TBD is so unique. TBD is so different. So different that apparently it never had room for me. Honestly, still kind of weird you're holding on to that. You're proud of TBD? Then show us this crazy, unique TBD style you're all about. Let's see a no DQ match actually impress me. That won't be a problem. Against her. All due respect to Psycho, you and I both know that she's not ready to take me on in that kind of match, Shotzi. You don't want to fight me, Cap? You know it's not that. Hey, I gotta earn my Psycho Stripe sometime, right? Why not at a WWE tryout? At the crossroads of possibly the most important opportunity of my life. Yeah, why not? You heard her before. She can take it. Are you sure you're okay with this? Let's do it. Couldn't help but over here, perhaps a bit of bad blood between you and Shotzi? I guess so. Not what I was expecting coming here today. But if she wants to start trouble, I'm more than happy to finish it. I've heard all about that fighting spirit and attitude you bring to your matches. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, I've heard about your fighting spirit too, Justine. WWE champion and legend comes back only to screw with her niece. Maybe not the best person to have grooming the next generation of WWE talent at NXT. Funny. That's actually what got me my new job. Well, that and my decades worth of experience and unparalleled wisdom. Such as? <laughs> Don't forget that in this business, you have to play a bit of politics and remember the long game. Sometimes letting bad blood fester 
can come back to bite you. I'm a bit of an expert on that. Makes sense. Another word of advice? This match that Shotzi made for you against Sally, don't hold back. Taking it easy on someone close to you won't do them any favors. Understood. I can't believe you've convinced me to let this go forward, Shots. It's a tryout, right? Do you want to try them out or not? I'm a fan of Feet to the Fire as much as anyone, but I'm actually with the boss here. Although I'm still looking forward to the entertainment. Wish I had my brass knuckles to throw them. Should have ordered more weapons, I suppose. Ever get the feeling that you're not in charge of the thing you're supposed to be in charge of? Constantly. It just makes it more fun. Why is it that WWE superstars are always saying that? Even on opposite sides, these two have chemistry. An enemy is just a friend you haven't wronged yet. Dark. I like it. This is brutal. I can't look away. This is weak. Glad I never had to wrestle in your dumb promotion, TBD, after all. If I didn't know better, I'd say Shotzi doesn't really feel that way. What? WWE superstars aren't always fully transparent with their feelings and emotions? Makes the hit sting harder when you know someone personally. I'm not impressed. You know, now that it's happening, I'm into it. What you got, Miss TBD? Miss TBD. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Get in here. All I ever wanted was to take you on. <laughs> be my guest. We'll see how this ends. Ladies, ladies. This is unbecoming of a WWE tryout. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Would be cooler to lay her out right now. Try it. No. There'll be none of that. At least not without an audience. Don't I count? Shotzi, you're in need of a tune-up match before your title opportunity against Bianca Belair. 
And our guest today is the perfect local talent we're looking for to face you. She'll push you. A real challenge. She certainly fits the bill to be my punching bag. If you're amenable, I'd like to book you on the next Raw. As a local talent? You are local, right? Yeah. I'm no tune-up match, though. But for a chance to settle this with Shotzi, I'm in. Fantastic. Then it's settled. Hey, Miss Psycho. I'm impressed with your... What's the word? <laughs> Moxie? That's it. I'm signing you to NXT. <laughs> you won't regret it! <laughs> I can't believe you got into a fight, and that's how you get to debut on Raw. Very funny. I'm not debuting on Raw. I'm just having a match. They asked me here to wrestle, and that I can do. Tell that to the millions of people who will be watching you wrestle on Raw for the first time from their homes tonight. Even if this opportunity doesn't mean the same to you, don't waste it. Why do you think I brought tinfoil to take home the food from catering? I'm serious. So am I. Listen, I hear you, but I also know why I'm here. Local talent almost never win these matches, but I do intend to make an impression. Hey, watch where you're going. Excuse my oblivious friend. Wait a minute, TBD? Yeah? I've heard of that. Welcome to Raw. See? Making an impression already. Oh, whatever. Good luck out there tonight. You made it. Welcome to Raw. And you're welcome. You're lucky to have me. I'm gonna put on one hell of a show tonight. With an attitude like that? I hope so. In any case, the show's not too far off from starting. I'd suggest getting changed into your gear. <laughs> I'm ready. You are... Wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> Not just any t-shirt. This very TBD t-shirt. Why? Proud to rep TBD. If I'm gonna have this opportunity, I wanna also support something I believe in and share it with a larger audience. I get it, and I respect your passion. Tell you what, just don't tell anyone else we've talked about this. I know there are some who would want me to make you change. Change? Me? <laughs> you don't know me that well. Right then. Good luck out there. It's Shotzi's opponent the following who comes to WWE four, with a reputation. Four. Making her way to the ring from New York. The Queen, Samantha. Welcome to the ball pit. Shotzi is such an unpredictable, unorthodox in-ring competitor. And Nonsense, more well, like she's demented, not all there. And she Shotzi. likes it. Shotzi. As this match gets underway, Shotzi's opponent is looking pretty confident for her first time on Raw. Even though she hasn't been in WWE before, she's been in big matches all around the world. I don't think this stage is going to phase her one bit. I don't know. I respect what she's done before this, but nothing can compare to the bright lights of WWE. At some point in this match, it will play a factor. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Knee strike to the... Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. She heads into the ring. Oh, and a knee to the face. Oh, what a kick. Shotzi absolutely not backing down. Step over into a DDT. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Shotzi there. She gets a quick kick out there.
Left by the turnbuckles. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out. Oh, an exploder suplex into the corner. From the middle rope. Shotzi holds her off. Has the arm into a hammerlock since then. Arm breaker. Oh. Oh, quite an effective counter. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Ah, oh, sit out, Matt Slam. Nice Russian leg sweep, and the octopus stretch is applied. What's going to happen here? What is she going to do here? Is she going to tap out? No! Able to slip underneath and deliver some blows, creating the break. Twisting Armor the arm. Full control. What a kick. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. Rapid. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Ah, uh, shin breaker. Not done yet. Dragon screw, beautiful. A commanding rush of attacks. Ah, uh, arms trapped. Will they tap? Oh my goodness, this may be over quick. Can she hang on? She won't let go. I can't believe it. When was the last time a local competitor beat a WWE superstar? I don't know, but it looks like Shotzi is just as bewildered as us. I think furious is the word you're looking for. Shotzi from behind, taking out her frustration. Get out of my ring. To the outside, coming our way. A loss like this could put Shotzi's title opportunity against Bianca Belair at risk. Shotzi is relentless, but there's a reversal. <laughs> Setting Shotzi up for something big here. We got to move. Talk about a raw debut. What the? <laughs> Sorry about the table, boys. But Shotzi asked for more from Miss TBD, so she got it. Thanks for the mic, Byron. <sighs> and by the way, watch our show! Well, that sure was something. For God's sake, hold on to your mic next time, Saxton. Wow, Byron, that's the most action you've seen in years. What the heck was that? We gotta go. Can't imagine the suits are gonna be too happy. Let's let this suit speak for himself, shall we? Damn. Of all the impulsive, unhinged disasters I've witnessed in my career, my dear, that had to be one of the most... Excellent! Wait... What? You went out and defeated Shotzi. And then, when things went sideways, you kept your head, stood up for yourself, and made a memorable moment for everyone in the WWE Universe. Well done! So you'll... still pay me then? You're not only getting paid. I'd like to offer you a full-time WWE Raw contract. With all due respect, I'm not sure if I'm the type of person you want working for you. You have a lot of assumptions about who we are and what we want. And, with all due respect, I'd suggest letting us decide those things for ourselves. I heard how people responded, and I'm telling you, WWE wants you. I truly appreciate the offer, sir, but I... Can we have a moment? I don't really think we need to... Just give us a second. Why not? I'm just in the middle of a live show and trying to offer you a life-changing opportunity. But please, take your time. I know that wasn't you about to tell William Regal no to a WWE contract.
Wait, is this you telling me to say yes to William Regal in a WWE contract? Why wouldn't you sign? Everything we've built together with TBD, our mission. You know how much it means to me. I don't want to abandon TBD. And I don't want to abandon you. TBD isn't going anywhere. You think I'm gonna let our momentum stop just because you get to go to the bigs? No way! Give it a chance. You hate it here, you come back home. But don't say no to the adventure. I mean, it is kind of cool that Regal recognizes what I bring to the table. And that was only one match. You did that with what everyone assumed would be a quick victory for Shotzi. And you don't think this is selling out? Remember when we decided to start TBD? Of course I do. As much as I wish I could forget that show, that promoter had such a narrow vision of what wrestling should be. And we sat down at that diner and decided if we ever started a promotion, we would let all kinds of people with all types of ideas get in the ring and fight, literally, for their vision. Yeah, we were very idealistic before we had to pay bills. <laughs> Remember those contracts we signed with each other on those diner napkins? But we did follow through on all of those plans. Aside from coming up with a name besides TBD, of course. My point is, we had a mission. Still do. And now, you're getting a very real chance to take your vision to a company that has more reach than anyone else. You really want to make a difference and change this industry into what you think it could be? You can't say no. Guess I have to find Regal and tell them yes then. I'll let you get to it. Just don't big time us when you come home to visit, okay? <laughs> no promises. There she is, the so-called captain, who came out of nowhere to defeat Shotzi and earn a raw contract. Came out of nowhere for you, maybe, but anyone who's been paying attention to the independent wrestling scene knows this woman has been a champion and a cornerstone of the promotion known as TBD for quite some time. WWE and Raw are lucky to have her. Hello, hello, welcome to Raw, big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a long-time admirer. Ever since we got word last week. It's a quick pivot to squeeze you in, but we're used to things changing fast around here. Not a problem at all. Didn't think it would be? I'm Troy Simkin. Yep, I'm that guy. I'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite WWE producer. I don't think I have. Hmm... Are you not mingling with your peers? That's kind of a must-do around here. Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? But before we get sidetracked, what I was getting at is we already have a few ideas of how to use you. But we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, Cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. Could have sworn it was Cat. Oh, well. We'll see where we land with the name. 